Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome back, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. We're about to get this thing started. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm pumped, in case you can't tell. Whew, we made it to the Sweet 16. Now the fun shall begin. Now we've already been having fun, but it's only going to continue. So, um, yeah, I put out a video earlier uh, showing all 16 bottles. Uh, this is the very first matchup in the Sweet 16. Um, I'll go in a little bit more depth about these bottles in a minute, but it is uh, George Remus uh, single barrel uh, going up against uh, Maker's Mark Castret. So I'm excited to see who moves on. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the first game of the Sweet 16, the East Division. Um, yeah. So if you haven't go back and watch the other video, lay out the brackets, fill out the uh, a bracket with the 16 teams. You can email it to bourbonquest33 um, at gmail, and we'll see what kind of participation we get from that and what we might be able to do with it. But uh, real quick, if you thank you for all the subscribers, subscriptions really been picking up, so I appreciate that a great deal. If you haven't done so. Uh, do the channel and myself a favor just uh, up there hit that subscribe button it takes two seconds doesn't cost anything and then do yourself a favor ring the bell for notifications that way because you, you don't want to miss a single episode um, and then smash that like button that helps you to you do YouTube algorithms and then feel free to leave a comment uh, who you think is going to win tonight uh, as well as the whole tournament uh, what your experience has been with these and so on and so forth but we've got to jump right in because that's what we like to do. Uh, just as always, uh, disclaimer is don't pay attention to what glass is near or behind which bottle because it don't mean shit. Uh, I don't know which is which. They've been uh, shuffled, arranged to where I ain't got a clue. Uh, I'm using a very high-tech, sophisticated, dangerous, uh, proprietary, patent-pending method approved by NASA. <laughs> well, that's a bunch of bullshit, but bottom line is I really don't know which is which. So, um, you know, the first two rounds we did kind of quick. I mean, we're still going to try and make them fairly quick, but uh, but I am just doing one a day instead of two a day moving forward. So if need be, we can spend more time and so forth. All right, let's quit the yapping and start the sipping. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh, let me see. Well, shit. Let me talk real quick, just a little bit on the particulars. So, your first one is, uh, uh, and again, these are no order, but the first bottle in the competition is George Remus, King of the Bootleggers, Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Cast Strength, 124.4 proof. It is a single barrel store pick. Uh, George Remus. Now, how will my headstone ring? I suppose it will be King of the Bootleggers. Ha <laughs> uh, From hypocrisy to, yeah, from a, how do you say that word? From apothecary to kingpin, George Remus created one of the most intricate, successful bootlegging operations of prohibition. With each single barrel holding its unique flavor secrets, George Remus bourbon captures the rebellious flavors of the prohibition era. Perfect for the speakeasy or liquor cabinet. Hell yeah. All right. And then you got, coming up against it is Maker's Mark Cash Strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Handmade, 109.8 proof. Um, it's Maker's Mark, but a little over the top. The first taste says it all. Our, our Cash Strength Bourbon is the boldest expression of Maker's Mark to date. Bottled at barrel proof, it's remarkably full flavored yet still smooth and refined thanks to the soft red winter wheat we have used since the beginning. At any distillery, a cast strength whiskey straight from the barrel is the truest reflection of who you are and what you do. Here at Maker's Mark, this is who we are and we're pretty damn happy about it. Hell yeah, you should be. Alright, so now you got the bottles, now we get to sip them. All right. Definitely get like Ritz caramel, vanilla, toffee. 
definitely get the proof on the nose of the ethanol, but rich caramel, toffee, vanilla. All right, very good. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. That's got some heat on it. Very good. I mean, definitely you feel the heat, but then you get those flavors that that caramel, uh, molasses, and vanilla all harmonizing well with each other. A little bit of spice on that too. A little black pepper and baking spice. Very delicious. Stay hydrated, my friends. All right, going for a second sip. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it gives you that heat up front, good mouthfeel, nice finish, really lets those flavors um, mingle and harmonize with one another. The, the rich caramel, vanilla, little black pepper and baking spice along with some chocolate. Mm, that's good. Whew. Gal's got some heat. All right. Whiskey number two. I mean, you get the ethanol. I'm not as much on this one. It is that rich caramel and vanilla. A little bit more subtle, but very nice. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. Man, just caramel, vanilla, butterscotch, toffee, um, more. Honestly, a little bit more creaminess, if that makes any sense. A little bit, maybe a little bit more butterscotch. I don't think it's as high as proof, but I think it allows some of those flavors to even come come about more in that. Mm. Very interesting. <sighs> Stay hydrated, my friends, because we can to take another sip. Second sip. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. It's just, I don't know, it's just more creamier, it's more, a little smoother. But, I mean, you definitely get those flavors with the caramel, the vanilla, the toffee, butterscotch, and still enough proof to really give it a great experience and, and allow those flavors to come through. I ain't, I ain't sad about it. All right. Let's go back with some water and run it back and see if anything's changed. This is exactly why we went down to one a night instead of two. All right. So we're staying on the second one. All right. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Man, those same flavors, now a little bit of banana is starting to come through there as well. But molasses, caramel, toffee, butterscotch, creamy. Mm. Delightful. All right. Cleanse the palate and let's jump back over to the first one.
Cheers, bourbon class. Yeah. It, it, this, the first one has has more higher on that proof and on that on that spice. It has more of a black pepper and baking spices. Probably a little bit higher rye mash bill. Not trying to give anything away, but that's what I'm definitely getting on the front end. It does allow those flavors to come in. Whereas the second one is smoother, more um, delicate, but still has enough proof to let all those flavors come through. So I think I'm leaning based upon that towards the, the second one. I am going to run it back one more time through. And I, I mean, I haven't made a decision yet. I'm just telling you who's leading at the moment. But the game ain't over. The clock's still running. All right. One more time through. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Yeah, it's, it's here on the lips and the front, just that spice, that black pepper. Still damn good. Man. These, I told you these were going to be tough. It's just a matter of, you know, what I'm feeling at the moment and what kind of mood I'm in because they're, they're both good. They're just different. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, a little more water before we get that last sip. All right. Yeah. All right, I've made my decision. I'm going with the second one over the first one. Oh. And I mean, those are both high proofs. And both delicious. It's a, it's a shame that either one of them has to lose. Alright. Who do you think it is, Bourbon Clust? I'm about to reveal the results. Your winner is none other. Then Maker's Mark, cash strength. Ha <laughs> ha! I kind of had a feeling that's what it was, just based upon, man, it's so good. And this is good too, it's just, you know, it's more of in a smoother, sweet mode than a spicy rye mode. So, congratulations, Maker's Mark, cash strength. Moving on to the Elite Eight. Unfortunately, George Remus, king of the bootleggers goes down somebody had to lose that's what makes these tough because that's a damn good whiskey and on another night it easily could have won for sure <sighs> all right i got a little more water to stay hydrated my friends all right well, now that we know who the winner is, we'll say good so long to George Remus. Cheers, George. Yeah, you gave it a good run. Hey, there's nothing wrong with making it to the Sweet 16, you know? Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. <sighs> Obviously, it's better when you make it to the Elite Eight, though, right? <laughs> Alright, that's going to wrap it up. Um, let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Leave a comment. And I'm out of here. We'll be back again tomorrow for another round in the East Division. Alright. Well, before I say goodnight and turn off the camera, I just want to close, as always, to say that my wish for you is that all. Your bourbon quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha! Congratulations, Makers Castrin. You're moving on, baby. Woo! Dear Lord.